we're here today to show you how we use art to build community. There are two vital ingredients in this journey. Me, the self, and we, the collective. So let us start at the base, at the self. Now, on a day to day, we all go through so many challenges. We all have fears. But once those fears turn into barriers, then it's a concern and it leaves you questioning your existence. Like you, I judge myself. I don't want to be too exposed. I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to be vulnerable. It is true, 7.5 7 billion of us, we do lead very different lives. Now imagine, I was stuck in a room with 20 other people. It was a really, really tight room. And I didn't know anyone around me. And everyone around me is basically a stranger. And then there's this seven meter blank canvas right in front of me with paint brushes and paint palettes. And there were so many emotions going on. And I didn't even have enough personal space. The only personal space I had was the 10 centimeters between me and the person next to me. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what's going on, and, but I knew two things. Is that, one, I had to paint something on this, and two, I needed to interact with these people. I literally have sweat rolling down my head, and my anxiety rises, and I just feel really uncomfortable. We do lead the same lives. We do lead different lives. But we all experience the same feelings of fear, of anxiety, of disempowerment. I mean, right now, I'm actually wondering what you guys are all thinking. And I'm sure after this, I'm going to analyze every single part of the talk and see if I've done it in its perfection. And if not, I'll criticize myself. This happened. There was so much distance between us. We were all pushed out of our comfort zones. And the worst realization was that we were so close to each other, yet we were miles apart. So the question is, how do we break barriers between ourselves and the collective? We've been exploring communal art for over three years now. My sister and I come from a background that's a bit familiar to so many people. We're third cultured kids, originally from, one, from somewhere, grew up somewhere, lived somewhere else. We've lived everywhere. But we've noticed something very familiar with everywhere that we've went, is that it lacked the glue that glue that binds us as a community, that sense of responsibility and concern for one another. And this is something that we wanted to face. We wanted to change this. And so with the amalgamation of community and art, we thought that we can help build community. So let's start by analyzing community. Now, the definition of community is a place inhabited by people that share common interests, living interdependently. But for us, it was so much more than that. Not only do we live in a particular place, share common interests, living independently, interdependently, but there's this sense of community, this concern and consideration for one another, regardless of where you're from and what age group you belong to. That didn't matter. But what mattered is accepting our differences and celebrating our similarities. So how do we build such a community, one that's connected, and one where we feel a sense of belonging? There's so many ways. Karen Kearney from Syracuse um, Cultural Workers actually wrote an entire manifesto on how to build community in 1998. Guys, it's 2017. I don't see it happening on a wide scale. So, but here are a few things maybe to spark your imagination. Turn off your TV. Instead of being told what to do and how to feel, why don't you go out there and explore what makes you passionate or what, what, what makes your heart beat? Because Paul Nipko and all the inventors of, of the television were not watching, watching it when it got invented. Share what you have because it's temporary. Share what you have because we do have a lot more than we need. There's a proverb by Axel Mundi that says, whatever you keep to yourself is lost, and whatever you share is yours forever. 
take responsibility. The same way we take responsibility for our families, we need to take responsibility for our communities. And, and ask questions. Because there's no two place, no two people ever standing in your place at the same time. Nobody sees things through your eyes. Your perception is yours, and therefore the questions that you have are catered to your eye and to what it sees. So truly, there is no wrong question. Big extra and share, because we all love to eat. So consider your friends. <laughs> consider Damn, your straight. <laughs> yeah, we do, we do. I mean, I mean look at me, come on. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so consider the ones that don't have as much as you do and share it, share it around, share it everywhere. <laughs> and share your skills. In this day and age, we need to have a lot of skills to succeed. And some people have very different ways of doing the same thing. So why don't you thrive in something? Why don't you take on a skill that you are really passionate about and share it with somebody? And in return, you'll receive a knowledge full of skills. So you see, the two main ingredients still remain. Me, the self, and we, the collective. So now that we've covered the social aspect, we'd like to discuss with you guys what we use to bind community, which is art. So how do we use art as a tool to build community? So we're back in this room that Christina was freaking out in, and the heat is rising, still don't know what to do, until they tell us that there's a theme. They revealed that the theme was growth, and that we needed to express this through paint. I sat back and reflected on what growth actually means to me, and what kind of barriers do I have to break within myself to achieve growth? And while I was starting to feel comfortable at this thought, and which made me feel more comfortable in the room, I still couldn't, I still couldn't get around to painting until I heard the musician play some music. And when I got relaxed, I just dipped the paintbrush in paint. And from the moment the paintbrush touched the canvas, I surrendered completely to my hands and their movements. I felt completely liberated that I can tell a story without words, that I can paint patterns without a particular structure. I was so freed by my own confinements. I was so comfortable, really. I was ready to paint the whole canvas. Until I heard a really, really disrupting sound. It, almost, it actually almost sounded like the musician fell asleep. I looked around and everybody started moving and that apparently was our cue to move on to the next seat. When I moved to the seat next to me and I sat down and I looked at the painting before me, I couldn't make sense of it. And it was then and there that I realized that this activity was much more than self-expression. I was there to break my own barriers and express myself, but I was also there to observe someone else's expression. And even if I didn't understand it, I needed to accept it. And I also had to build upon their work. And so the evening went, hours and hours of painting. We swapped, we swapped places, we built on each other's lines. We even tried to reason with each other. What, what, is, what is this weird, like, stick figure, plant-looking thing? Is this your growth? <laughs> Amazing. Inspiring. Um, and so, collaboration. And that, that was the whole purpose of this activity. It was to create something together and achieve something together. And I was only able to do that when I broke my barrier and took an initiative. Jackson Pollock says, it doesn't matter what goes onto the canvas as long as something's being said. We created it, a unified art piece, painted by one, painted by many. I get it now. I had to go through a process of self-acceptance and build the walls that I broke, I built around myself in order to contribute to something greater. The session ends and people have big smiles on their faces. And they don't seem like strangers anymore to me. I feel more connected to them. Especially that one lady who walks in with a big frown on her face and then leaves a the session really happy and joyful. And we actually exchange numbers, so she's a really nice lady. And it just, it just shows you that when we work together, we really can build 
a positive community built on pure intentions and acceptance of one another. And so we came up with our own formula to build community. And that's self-expression. Don't overthink. Plus art. Don't be arrogant. Plus collaboration. Don't judge. Chance communication. And that is community. And that is what we need. And that is what we do. So we are here today to show you how we use art to build community. So let's, let's use it. Thank you. Thank you. Man, amazing. Proud of you guys. Thank you. One more round of applause, please, for Black Canvas community. Wow.